Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. I'm with Mike from Lynx. How are you doing, Mike? Good, Sam. How are you? I'm yeah, so happy to well. have you here. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, great to see everyone again. Yeah, it's great. And um, you're showing off something that I think a lot of your users have been asking for for a long time, which is Atmos compatibility. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's no surprise that the last NAMM show, Atmos, was basically exploding, and it's exploding at this show as well. You always hear everything about that. The dealers have been asking for us, the customers have been using uh, Aurora ENDS, and they've been requesting it as well. And just even internally, we realized it was something that we wanted to be part of, and we wanted to, you know, to be able to have our end users be able to use that capabilities. So what we've introduced for the first time at this show is the compatibility of the Aurora N converter with the Dolby Atmos system. So the way that works is that you would use either um, Either Sonarworks, which is very popular, you can use a Rumi Q Wizard, but either one of those, once you do all the calibrations in those programs, they create a text file. Now, part of the issue with some of the converters is that you need to take that text file and manually enter every single value, you know, literally manually by hand. If you do one small typo, if you're off 0.1 milliseconds of one of your delays, your whole room shifts. I mean, it's not really a good thing. There's a lot of margin for error in there. So what we decided to do was we import that text file directly into our end control software. You import that text file, the end control software automatically assigns everything and maps everything out to all the channels and all the parameters. And then once it's in end control, it's basically in the end. And it's, so it's, uh, it's very, it's, it's, almost, it's almost automatic. Once you've done your calibrations of the room, the transferring of all the data is, is very quick and very easy. Yes. I gotta say, because there's, the two words Atmos compatible right. mean a lot of different things to a lot of different manufacturers. They, absolutely. And yeah. on a base level, I mean, all you need to be Atmos compatible is the ability to spit out a certain number of outputs. Right, right. But actually, in order to implement a real world Atmos rig, you need yeah. to, all that calibration has to happen absolutely. somewhere. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's mandatory that you do all the proper things. I mean, Dolby has their own spec about what you need to do. So if you, if you leave out any of that, you know, and any of the parameters that Dolby has said you have to do, then technically you're not completely, you know, compatible there. But, uh, you know, we, we actually uh, we wanted to make sure that we were completely, you know, to their spec and everything. And, and some of the features, um, Dolby will, uh, Atmos will support in 96K or 48K, so we support both of those. We have up to um, 500, you can see on the, the card, it's up to 530 uh, filters of the, for the room correction, and we do um, a like a 64-bit uh, float, floating point calibrations. So it's all completely completely accurate. So. And there are various pros and cons, of course, to where you implement the calibration. You can implement it in software. Mm -hmm. You can implement it in the loudspeakers themselves. Right. But I think that. probably the ideal solution or the closest to the ideal solution is to have it implemented in the... In the unit itself, yeah. yeah. Some of the units, um, they'll use, they'll, if they're using Logic, they'll use a plugin that will do the Dolby Atmos. But now you're relying on your CPU and you're putting all that stress and all that weight on the CPU. By doing it this way with the Aurora N, we take all that weight off the CPU and we do it all in our hardware. So it's, it's just better for the system. And so will this be a, a paid upgrade or is this free to existing nah, Aurora users? Excellent question. <laughs> But uh, what would the, the, the way to get the Atmos compatibility in the Aurora N, some customers already came up thinking this is a separate unit, but what it is, it's going to be just a free firmware upgrade from our website. Just download the new firmware and you're ready to go with your Atmos system, you're up and running, basically. Amazing, that's what I call customer support. It is, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, great to see you, Mike. Nice Thanks to see you. Time. Thanks for coming by, Sam, really appreciate it. Thank you for the, thank you for the support and for the coverage. It's a really pleasure. Supported. Thank you.